Yeah, you see those tanks? Those belong to Mr. Rockefeller and, and the Rothschild family. They know how to run the world. They're nice. I work for them. They pay me 55 grand a year, and I can make money off asset seizures, uh, just like Roman centurions. I like it. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing you got going there. Hey, it's great, and I get to be a big shot. You know, when I was a kid, and people used to... Ski mask. Well, when I was a kid, uh, my big brother beat up on me. But then later in life, I got to become a bully, and now I've gotten to join this force, and I like it. I get to make sure people pay their taxes. I get to burn down churches full of children. It's great, and then the media tells the sticks up for me. The media is my friend. I'm part of something big. I'm on a team. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, take care of yourself. All right. You know what my name is? Uh, I don't know, Mr. I'm Man. a multi-jurisdictional task force under J-16. You can call me Bad Boy. I'm tough. <laughs> okay. Bye. See ya. And don't make me pull you over and knock your teeth out, Pop. Okay. Bye. I'll be sure to stick my chihuahuas on you. Well, <laughs> you know, we like to shoot dogs. We do it everywhere we go. Especially the little dogs that, you know, you can't really fight back that easily. Yeah, it's fun. You know, and I didn't like that Waco Rules of Engagement that came out about us shooting the people at Waco with the infrared footage. I didn't like it because, because it showed us bragging about how we were going to kill everybody on the tape and sharpening our knives. And that's not really how it is. You know, I mean, that's, that was false, wasn't it? Yes, even though it showed us our own BATF footage that we filmed because, because the BATF was coming up for reappropriation. We needed more armored personnel carriers and more tanks. And they were trying to stop us. So, so we just covered that up, and our friends of the media that work for Mr. Rockefeller, too, and Mr. Rothschild, uh, you know, we're still, we're all sticking together. Yeah, that, that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, listen, I appreciate your call. Oh, yeah, I appreciate talking to you. Hey, listen, remember, peace through hard work, peace through the community, peace through giving up your rights. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> and, no. and, hey, we'll be here to make sure you behave all right. Yeah, to the New World Order. Oh, don't say that. Don't. I don't like it. Yeah, to the New World Order. You know, sometimes those right-wingers say, long live the Constitution and death the New World Order. I say to them, we've got the Apaches, we've got the Bells, we've got the Cobras. <laughs> They're not going to stop us. If we have to, we'll make a few more boom-booms to scare all the sheep to t give away their rights. I appreciate your call. Okay, well... I'm going to take some more collars now that Alex is gone and I'm here. You can trust me. I wear a ski mask. Haven't you seen on the news? It's okay. They show you guys in ski masks. You can trust. You can love it. Yes, we have those Apaches down in Houston. And I've heard out at Bastrop to keep us safe. Uh, Mr. Terrace? Yeah, Excuse me, me multi-jurisdictional multi officer. I'm a peace officer. Right, I'm sorry. Multi-jurisdictional officer. What can we as helpless citizens do to have more military on the streets so that we feel safer? I appreciate that. Well, you can vote for city council members that will increase our budgets and make sure that your police chiefs are like Elizabeth Watson was. She now works for Reno, my boss, uh, up in Washington, our ex-police chief. And she knew this. She turned over control of the local police department to the proper authorities. And now we're under Washington control with a new crime bill. And uh, we're getting more helicopters and more infrared and more automatic weapons. <laughs> and we're hiring more ex-military personnel that are good and brainwashed. I mean, good and trained. Just the sound of that makes me feel better when what I'm What you can do is TV. you can call your representatives and ask for more protection. I appreciate well, that's a good question. Do you have any more questions? Well, I get... Uh, yeah, I got a question for you. Okay. Why do you have to wear a mask? Why, what... Well, you... uh, uh, well, uh, well, I, I, well, uh, well, it's for our own protection, you know? There's people out there that might retaliate against us for stealing their homes or knocking down their doors and killing their women and children, uh, but we do that because they're right wing. You know, for the Constitution and personal freedom, uh, they would call themselves real liberals, but, but they're liars. Don't listen to them. They're extremists. I'm not an extremist. All through history, people that wear black masks, inquisitors, 
uh, executioners, uh, the Ku Klux Klan wears white masks, but they don't see them. I'm kind of like the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, I got the media on my side and big bank money on my side and all the colleges on my side. So I'm kind of like the Ku Klux Klan. We wear masks so we can do our good work and no one will know what we're doing. Does that answer your question? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, look, you can see my nose. Look at it. I smell money. Isn't Drug that money. Cute kitties? See what? Isn't that cute, kitties? Hi. I'm going to the schools, too, and telling them how I keep them safe. Well, I'll go to some more callers. Do you have any more questions? No, I just can't happen to think of any more right now. Oh, you can't think. That's okay. Just let us think for you. <laughs> you know, don't be extreme. I'm just going to go watch the news. Oh, thanks. Bye. That was a nice young lad. I'm sure he'll be part of the global occupation love forces. <laughs> oh, it's good to hear from people. Hello, you're on the air. Why did we cut them off? Well, I don't know who Jarhead is. I'm Mr. Helper. I'm Mr. Peace, Mr. Love. I appreciate your call, though. Hello? Hey, Mr. SWAT team guy? Yes! This is a Miami correspondent. Hi! Oh, we do lots of good work in Miami. Listen, what did lots you do? Lots of big corrupt banks and SWAT teams and crime and abuse and raping of women on the street and just all the things that, that, that big law enforcement brings. Federal hey, Mr. law. G Mr. Gestapo boy, what did you do with Alex? Where is he? Oh, the hell. He's going to a mental institution where we're going to help him with shock therapy. You better not hurt him. Oh, oh I wouldn't dare. We're going to help him. Mr. L Mr. Gestapo boy, let me ask you how you'd handle something since you're a loving part of the establishment. Okay. About a month ago, I, was, uh, I went from Miami up to Pueblo, Colorado, and I uh, went in the courthouse to do some research, and I was dressed in a jacket and a tie. I was trying to help a friend of mine who just got arrested for... Uh, he, he talked back to a police officer, and the police officer found some kind of law or something that he arrested him. So I, I didn't think that was right, so I went to check some, some jurisprudence on that issue. While I was in the courthouse, uh, the, some of the women in there, which I'll call, they look like a bunch of Gestapo matrons, they, uh, they didn't seem to like my anti-establishment attitude, and I got in an argument with one of them, and they called security, and up, come, up the stairs come running four armed police officers, and they all stood around me and bumped me elbow, shoulder to shoulder and walked me out of the courthouse into the street in front of the Pueblo County Courthouse. I'm just wondering how a, a loving, illustrious fellow like you would have handled that. Well, I would have done more. And in the future, we'll be able to do more. We'd have knocked your teeth out and drug you and thrown you in a cell for a couple of weeks and taken your home. Then you won't cause trouble. And then later, even if you submit to us, we're going to load you on helicopters and cattle cars and take you to the FEMA facility. <laughs> well, what, what kind of help is that? It's to make sure the children of the world are safe. Oh, well, okay. Well, I appreciate that. Now I'm, I'm, I feel better now that I understand. You better understand, right, Winger? Yes, sir. We've got the power now. It's our time. Thank you, Mr. Senor Gestapo guy. That's right. There's a lot of money in this, and I'm going to stay in this, and I get to be a criminal and do whatever I want. It's so much fun. I I'm just, I'm just glad you didn't, wouldn't have shot me. I thought maybe that uh, if I'd have answered you back, you would have pulled out an Uzi or one of them automatic weapons and took care of me. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> yes, maybe next time. Well, thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, military police guy. You bet. Thanks for the call. Bye-bye.